Welcome everyone to the KMT webinar. Today we're going to focus on the KMT Cut Calculator. It's a new app that we just developed. I have Jeff Erickson with me. He has over 20 years in the industry. He was instrumental in developing this new app. So I'm actually sitting in Baxter Springs, Kansas, and uh, we're very excited about the fact that we can say we are the pioneers of water jets. We're celebrating that 50 year anniversary this year. This app is somewhat of a, a the next leg up in terms of helping people understand the different pressures and orifices. There's a lot of complexity with water jet. So this app is simplifying it and giving a graphic presentation that I think you really enjoy. So I look forward to the webinar and welcome. Thank you, Tom. Team worked really hard on this application and uh, we think we have something here that'll be useful for, for all the different uh, audiences that will view it. So thank you for the opportunity. So for today's webinar, we're going to focus on seven short sections that show the variety of the different features involved with this new app. Okay, Jeff, let's show the viewers where to find the app and how to get started. Okay, Tom, let's go ahead and take a look. First, for those of you looking to download the app, it can be found in the Apple Store for Apple devices and the Google Play Store for Android devices. I would like to start out by pointing out a couple key features of the app before we dive into the core features of the app. At the top, you will notice a menu bar. The menu bar allows customers to connect with KMT in a way the previous application did not. Users can view current products. They can take a look at cutting solutions. They can go out and browse some of our videos and downloadable content. They can contact KMT or they can request a quote. We also added a menu for promotions so you can see all the latest activities going on at KMT. The app has two modes of operation and features two main sections. The top section is the basic parameters used to set the feed rate calculator. The bottom section is for your pump selection and is where we will see two different modes of operation. We have a basic mode of operation that allows for pump horsepower selection and an advanced mode of operation that lets the user configure the pump parameters. This demonstration will be showing the advanced version. The advanced version can be unlocked by going to the bottom of the application and selecting advanced. The button will open a form and when completed sends a code in an email to unlock the app. So what you're going to find in this app is we've added additional thicknesses, uh, a variety of different materials. Uh, the previous app was a good start, but this app is actually taking it to another level. One of the things that we've done with the new app is we've made it all optimized for every setup. So now all you have to do is select the horsepower and it will automatically populate the pressure, the orifice size and the abrasive rate. And so why don't we go ahead and just take a look at the app and we can kind of we can kind of discuss um, how you would configure and set up the app. You know, if you were just looking at it from a feed rate perspective and how you would figure out the feed rates for a given pump. All right, so now let's configure the cut calculator. At the top, we'll start with units. The units are selectable between English and metric. When selecting between English and metric, you will see that when you select metric, we switch to millimeters and we switch to bar. Switching back to English puts us in inches and PSI. The next selection is abrasive. We can select between hard rock abrasive and alluvial abrasive. A lot of customers will run alluvial or hard rock, so we added the feature in our calculator to select between the two. It will make a cut speed difference. We also have thickness. Versus our old calculator, we now have the ability to go much thinner and go up to nine inches of material thickness. After we select the thickness, we will select the material to be cut. We now have 25 different materials to choose from, including metals, some plastics, rubber, and stone. After we have set up the job, we now have to select the pumps that we will be looking at. The calculator is designed to look at the higher horsepower or higher pressure pump on the left-hand side and the lower horsepower, lower pressure pump on the right-hand side. If you're just using this to calculate feed rates, 
you can do all your selections on the right hand side or the left hand side and ignore the results on the back side comparing the two speeds and feeds. So as discussed before, the first example, we're just going to take a look at cutting aluminum. So I will select my units of measure to English, my abrasive to hard rock, my material thickness to something more normal in the half inch range, and I'm going to say aluminum 6061. I know I have a 50 horsepower pump, so I will select 50 horsepower. My current cutting pressure is 55,000 PSI, but if I wanted to put a different pressure in, I could load a different pressure in right now. My orifice size is 14 thousandths. I have the ability to select between an orifice of 14 thousandths all the way down to 7 thousandths. My focusing tube diameter is hard coded into the application. And the last parameter that I can enter is the abrasive rate. For this example, I'm running 1.4 pounds of abrasive. After I have all the parameters in, I will hit the calculate button. When the calculate button is hit, the following screen is opened up showing the results of the calculations. What is really nice about the new application is it gives us the ability to see the material and all the cut parameters on the screen now. So I can make screen captures or I can email myself the results. If we look at the screen, we can see that it says the cutting speed is for aluminum 6061, half inch material using hard rock abrasive. The next group down talks about the parameter for the pump. It is a 50 horsepower pump cutting at 55,000 PSI using a 14,000 orifice running 1.4 pounds of abrasive a minute. I can now see that I have feed rates as well. I have the ability to select the feed rate from a fine cut, a smooth cut, a medium cut, coarse cut, or rough cut. Each feed is listed next to the corresponding edge quality. As mentioned before, I can email myself the results by selecting the email results tab. It'll bring up a photo of the results page and allow you to enter an email address to send yourself the information. Jeff, that was excellent. Well laid out, very simplistic, uh, very clean, and the feed rate was very clear. Uh, what if an end customer, however, wanted to keep the pump the same, but maybe change some of the other parameters? Can you walk us through that? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't we go ahead and take a look and we can set up two different uh, scenarios. Same information I provided before, I will show how you can take a look at comparing your current pump with a current orifice size versus your current pump with a different orifice size. So as mentioned before, we will start out with the, the higher pressure or the larger orifice size on the left hand side underneath pump one and the smaller orifice size on the right hand side underneath pump two. For this example, I will keep the material thickness at 0.5 inches as used before and I will select aluminum 6061. If I go down, I just want to compare the orifice, so I'm going to change the or orifice size to an 11 thousandths orifice, you'll notice that all the parameters were self-filled in for that orifice type. If they are not correct, I can change each one as well. So if I'm running more abrasive, I can simply select the box and type in 0.9 pounds of abrasive per minute. When done, I will hit calculate. Now the results screen will show the difference between the two pump examples running different size orifices. On the left, you will notice that we are running a 14 thousandths orifice, and all the speeds and feeds shown are for the 14 thousandths orifice. And on the right, you will see we're comparing the 11 thousandths orifice. The far right hand column shows the percent speed increase. So you can see in this example, if you're running a 50 horsepower pump, by increasing the orifice size, you will pick up somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 35 percent speed increase just by changing your orifice. Or if you have small intricate text work to be done and you want to run a smaller orifice, you can see that the speeds will slow down accordingly to run that smaller orifice. So Jeff, that was outstanding. You can see here by having a pump and changing out the orifice size, there is an impact in the throughput. A lot of our customers sometimes don't realize that 
uh, they're not optimizing the pump. So this app could be a great tool for someone to really see that increased yield and throughput with a given pump just by changing out the orifice. So now let's go on to the next section, Jeff. Yeah, Tom, you're, you're, you're right. And so what we want to take a look at now is we're going to use what essentially is the third function of this cut calculator. And that's that's the ability to compare two different pumps at two different pressures. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. Now let's compare using a different horsepower or perhaps increasing the pressure. So for this example, we will use the same material thickness and the same aluminum 6061. In this example, I will select our 60 horsepower Pro Series pump running at 85,000 PSI. And for the default pump, I will use a 50 horsepower, 55,000 PSI pump. I will select compare and the results page will be shown. On the left hand side, you'll see the 60 horsepower Pro Series pump being compared to the items in red, which are the 50 horsepower, 55,000 PSI pump. You will notice a speed increase of over 50% across all the edge qualities, really staggering results. If we want to take a look at maximum performance for your job shop, we can put in the Pro 125. Again, all the information is pre-populated in all the fields and we hit calculate. Again, looking at this form, we increase speeds up near 175%. That is just amazing results. Jeff, that was really good. So by changing pressure, velocity of the stream, we all know that that has an impact on throughput, in this case with the aluminum, but we've seen it with a multitude of materials. It doesn't seem to matter whether, whether it's titanium, carbon steel, uh, the 90K, pressure does make a huge difference, even more so with the Pro 125, as you uh, demonstrated in the video. So this app really gives the end customer that black and white evidence of the throughput. We've actually shown this in our lab live here in Baxter Springs, and these numbers are very realistic. And that's really the whole point of the app is to be able to put that right in somebody's hands so they can sit in their facility and their job shop and be able to take a look and, and see the difference for themselves. So Jeff, this is really good. I can tell you've worked hard, made a lot of effort. Uh, this is an excellent presentation. I'm sure the market will get a lot out of this app. So I'm very excited. What's neat about this is there's even more to the story. We can unlock some features here for our OEM network, some of the commercial folks out there. We, we have some analytics, let's call it behind the curtain, that we can do even further analysis and get into the cost per job, the cost per inch, some of the abrasive consumption, uh, economics behind the numbers. So that's exciting. So in the next section, we're gonna show some of our OEM partners the added features. So why don't you go into that, Jeff? Yeah, thanks, Tom. So. Um, you know, one of the things that we took a look at is, is just really a, expanding beyond, you know, the speeds and feeds and what do those look like in an actual job scenario. And so we added an OEM access page and you'll see that on the, the results page as you look at the feed rates down in the bottom right hand corner. Why don't we go ahead and take a look. In this part of our video, we're going to pick back up and take an in-depth look at OEM access. OEM access is designed to build a job and compare two different pumps against each other. This can be extremely helpful in helping an OEM select the right pump for the job. It can also be used as a tool to help understand what different horsepowers can do for a customer's productivity. For this example, I'm going to start off with pump number one being our Pro 60 pump and pump number two being a 50 horsepower, 55,000 PSI pump. I'm going to select all the default parameters and hit calculate. I'm now looking at the cut summary sheet that explains the different speeds and feeds for each pump. I will select the OEM access tab now to enter job parameters. I will start with entering the number of parts for the job. In this example, I will enter 300. I will then enter the length of cut. This is the outside perimeter of each part that will be cut in the job. I will enter 35. Labor cost will then be entered. 45, the abrasive cost at 
$0.29 cents a pound. I will enter in an edge quality. Generally, we like smooth cut to fine cut in abrasive water jet cutting. I will enter cutting water costs, cooling water costs. Cooling water is separated from cutting water in the event that you are selling a chiller on the system. You can make cooling water zero dollars. And finally, I will enter the electrical rate. Once all the parameters have been filled in, I will hit calculate job cost. This page brings up a cost comparison summary. In this, you will see three different comparisons. The first is the speed capacity comparison, a job part cost comparison, and an abrasive use comparison. We will select the speed slash capacity comparison to view those details in greater form. In each comparison, you can see a written explanation and a graphical comparison. If we look at the cut speed, we can see in the written explanation that we have a 57% increase in cut speed. The graphical display shows the same result, but uses bar graphs to show that information. What is really interesting is when we take a look at the cut time per job, the 60 horsepower pump cutting at 85,000 PSI results in a decrease of nearly four hours needed to complete the same job with the 50 horsepower pump. Those are amazing results, and that's just looking at it from a single job perspective. Wow, Jeff, that was uh, excellent information. You can see right away the graphic presentation, uh, the analytics by focusing on the, the time per job, the cut speed, uh, that's, that's outstanding. This is gonna be a great tool for some of the commercial people out there. Absolutely, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the job and part cost summary now. Next up is job part cost comparisons. Again, what I really like about this tool is it gives a summary out on the first page, and then you can dive into greater details by clicking View Details. In the job slash part cost comparison, we have a comparison that takes a look at the cost per part and the cost per job. In the first scenario, we will look at it just from the cost for each individual part. That can be really important to somebody estimating job costs. When we take a look at 90,000 PSI versus 60,000 PSI technology, one of the things that we typically discuss is cost per part. In here, you can see the cost per part has a decrease of 34% when going from a 50 horsepower 60,000 PSI pump to a 90,000 PSI 60 horsepower pump. Sometimes it's not enough to talk about it just as a cost per part. We need to take a look at it as a whole unit in which case we'd want to look at it as a cost per job. In this scenario, the 60 horsepower pump cutting at 85,000 PSI results in a decrease of $287 per job compared to the 50 horsepower pump cutting at 55,000 PSI. While $287 per job doesn't seem like a lot, remember we are only talking about 10 hours worth of cutting here. That is one day's worth of cutting, and we will see a savings of $287 per day. Now take that out over an entire year and you can start to see the reason why we talk about cost per part when we're talking about 90,000 PSI technology. So we saw in this example, Jeff, the cost per part. This is something that we have tried for many years to emphasize to folks on the front line. And there's a lot of discussions about operating costs and different things out there. The cost per part is really where the rubber hits the road. So I think this is an excellent presentation once again. Cost per part ultimately hits people in the pocketbook and then also the cost per job. So a lot of these job shops are doing per job or per part pricing. If there's an, uh, an advantage to one pressure or an orifice over another, uh, it, it shows up in this cost per part. So. We have really worked hard on trying to explain this to folks. This does it very clean and easy for you. Yes, it does. And, and so, you know, we've talked about speed capacity. We've talked about cost per part. And really that third pillar that we like to discuss is abrasive usage. And so in this scenario, we'll, we'll just kind of take a look at how abrasive is impacted by everything. 
All right, now let's go back and take a look at abrasive. So I will click view details on the abrasive use. So in the abrasive use comparison, we will see the total amount of abrasive used at top and what the cost is for all that abrasive at the bottom. So in this example, we had a decrease of 468 pounds of abrasive in this one job alone. And that abrasive costs $135 for this one job alone. So again, you can see how important it is when we talk about abrasive savings in 90K, how that adds up to real dollars in the end, especially when taken out over a year's worth of running. As noted before, this was just one day of cutting. This is all really good information, but now we want to put it into the hands of the customer. We can do that by going back to the main comparison summary page and scrolling to the bottom where we'll see email comparison summary. We select email comparison summary and at the top we'll see email summary and charts. We select that button. We can enter our email address. We enter our email address and we now have the information in an easy to use format to send to the customer. Abrasive, as we know, is 60% of the operating cost for any given end customer. Abrasive is a major part of what we talk about with our customers, particularly when we go from 60 to 90K because there's less consumption per part. This is difficult to explain to a lot of people. Uh, this app is, a, is so exciting for me because I've been in WaterJet for 20 years now and you've been doing it about the same amount of time, Jeff. So I think finally now we have a chance with the graphics, with this app, uh, it simplifies it and it's very good presentation. So I really enjoyed that part. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it, Tom. As we've mentioned, there's a lot of hard work that went into this. And I think, it, I think it, from an OEM perspective, they'll have a lot to glean from this. So we're excited about it. And you've worked very hard. So I do appreciate all of your efforts and also our marketing team, our global team. This has been a global effort. We, we get into the, all the different languages and metrics uh, versus English. Again, celebrating 50 years in this business. So I kind of feel like this is the uh, beginning of a new uh, era for us. This app is exciting and we look forward to working with all of you. Take care.